Hello, in this video, I will explain to you on how to find the current in this single loop circuit. So we need to find out this current here. That is our goal. So our goal is to find out I. I here. Okay. Let's see here. The I is going here and eventually it will turns in this node B, right? It will turns where else to go? only goes down like this and again we have this will turn to the left in the node c here at the node c so it will goes to the right like that right and it will turn up in the r2 right and then finally it will goes back into this this current here and as long as the circuit is closed it will flows like that and that flows is called the loop so we have the loop here which is flowing clockwise right so let's this is our loop because we only have loop one so let's just name this at loop one good and then we need to use the kirchhoff loop rule okay so what is the kirchhoff Kirchhoff's loop rule. The Kirchhoff's loop rule said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. However, we have unknown voltage in these resistors, right? In this 8 ohm resistor and in this 10 ohm resistor, we don't know the voltage yet. And also the polarity. So, I usually use this convention here. Here, the current goes down like this, right? And where the current comes from is the positive terminal for resistor. And where the current goes to is the negative terminal. This is only for resistor, right? For the battery, where the current comes from is the negative, And where the current goes to is positive. It is the opposite, right? And then for this terminal R, for this resistor R2, it goes up, right? Like this. So the voltage here will be have the positive polarity in the bottom and the negative one on the top. Good. Why that is important? Because in the Kirchhoff's loop rule, we have to be very careful about the sign, right? And let's see here Kirchhoff's loop rule at loop one. So let's see here at loop 1. And we need to see each component. Let's start from this E1 battery here. The current is flowing from to the negative terminal. So our sign will be also negative. So I'll have minus here. And we already have the voltage here. So we will have 6 volt. So I'll have minus 6. Or maybe let's write the symbol first we'll have minus E1, minus E1, okay, and then let's move on to this R1 here, and here the current flowing to the positive terminal, right, it enters to the positive terminal, so our sign will be plus, but then this is resistor, we need voltage, we can get the voltage from the Ohm's law, right, the current multiplied by the resistance, so I will have I multiplied by R1 because I multiplied by R is voltage, right? And then let's move on to this 12 volt battery here and the current is going to the positive terminal, right? It enters to the positive terminal. So our sign will be positive and then the value will be E2 like that. And then for the last component, the current enters from the positive terminal. The current enters to the positive terminal here. So we will have plus. And remember, we need voltage always. We need voltage. So we will have I multiplied by R2. And I think that's all. We have four components and now we have four terms. One, two, three, four. All of that will equal to zero. And what we need to do is plug in the values. 
E1 is 6 volt, so I'll have minus 6. We don't know I yet, but we know R1. And that will be 8. So I will just write it as 8i. Okay, and then plus E2. E2 is 12 volt, so we'll have 12 here. And then let's have this R2. R2 is 10 ohm, so I'll have 10. And then multiply it by i okay all of that will equal to zero good now let's do some math here minus six plus twelve that will be six okay and then plus eight plus ten that will be eighteen yeah i think eighteen i and that will equal to zero good and now we will have 18i is equal to minus 6. Or i here is equal to minus 6 divided by 18. Or we can divide both sides, both numerator and denominator by 3, right? By 3, by 6 is okay. So I'll have minus 1 divided by 3. And the unit here will be in ampere. So I will have the current here is minus 1 over 3 ampere. And what does that mean? That means the actual current is flowing to the opposite direction, right? So the current that passed through R1 here is actually going there with the value of 1 over 3 ampere. And because all the, all the current is in series, we also assume all the direction wrongly because this is negative, right? So the current that passed through this R2 here is going down with the value of 1 over 3 ampere. And also this one here is going to the left with 1 over 3 ampere. And then that will go to the right with 1 over 3 ampere. Okay. And I think that is all. We have achieved our goal here. Because the current is minus 1 over 3 ampere. Or maybe if we want to write it in decimal, I will have minus 0 0.333 ampere. Or maybe that will be minus 333.33 milli ampere. And all of that is the same value, right? And I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.